So you didn't you didn't wait for the cube. I thought we did the open thing, no? Oh. The first time I heard about my L, I remember it like it was yesterday. I first saw Zoe snowboarding back in 2012. She was a little junior ripping around at the nationals at Nakiska. She had on these like tight animal print pants and full of sass, full of spirit, and a total charger on the course. My competitive history has helped in my coaching philosophy because I know exactly what it feels like to be holding those start gate handles. I started snowboarding when I was nine and I fell in love instantly. Maya Ricker's Olympic dreams have come true! She had just won the 2010 Olympics, so I was 15 at the time, and one of my parents' friends asked if that was gonna be me someday. And I think that's when it clicked for me that I wanted to pursue this professionally. I would describe Zoe as full of life. Like, she's extremely smart, she's extremely witty. She dots her eyes, she crosses her T's, she's very thorough. But she's also got this amazing spirit. There was a season where me and Mayel were both out with different injuries, and we were the only two on the team that were still in North Vancouver. And I think that's where we built our friendship and our bond slowly working through setbacks and triumphs and just getting back into training. For sure, you can get a little bit more aggressive on the initiation of the carve there, really try and get that angulation up. My big push was to have her come on as a coach and work specifically with me and do like a return to snow program because she has so much experience and it helped yeah. so much. So let's just keep progressing. She is 100% down to earth. She's so friendly and kind, but underneath all of that, she still has that competitive edge and passion, and it shines through a lot when she's working with us. La série Mon Mentor vous est présentée par Petro Canada. À Petro Canada, nous sommes fiers de soutenir les entraîneurs et les athlètes du Canada.